What's up, fam? Good morning. Spring is in the air, quite literally. Today is the first day of spring. You're feeling it, huh? Look how big she is, you guys. Holy moly, I don't know if I can even like, let me just, come here. Look at how big she's gotten. She is going to be a big girl. I know I've said this many a times, but she's probably gonna end up being around 50 pounds. She's gonna be a big dog. And you are officially four months old. Oh my big girl. Like I said though, spring is in the air. We are on round two of spring break. Between our seven kids, we have three different spring breaks. So frustrating, but it happens. We're used to it. Story of our life. Lilia had spring break last week. This week is Tommy and Caden's spring break. They are the only kids currently home right now. And then next week is the rest of the kids. Kids spring break. It's split up any which ways. I wish they could just be like a universal like nationwide spring break. Although that would probably mess up people's vacations, huh? That's a lot of <sighs> yeah, that'd be good. But that's like how winter break is. I don't know. Why can't we all just decide on a spring break? It gets crazy around here for families like ours. So Chris is out there with the boys doing some spring things. The weather is gorgeous, but I'm inside doing some work things. Still feed honey three times a day right now. And I'm so excited because I just got her new food in the mail. I've been feeding her new low, I think is what it's it's called and I'm trying to go for like healthier options again I'm a new dog mom so I don't know a whole lot but I found this brand of dog food that I really wanted to try I'm not quite sure I think it's pronounced mauve or like Maybe, I don't know, but it's kind of like an intro into the raw food diet, which I don't know fully if I'm gonna commit to that. Definitely give me information, like down in the comments, give me all of your dog advice when it comes to food. Have her try this for lunch today because she's not a huge fan of the food that she has right now. She will just go, maybe she's just not very like food motivated. So I've been researching the crap out of different brands. Um, just like trying to, I don't know, decide which way to go with this. So this is the first thing that we're gonna be trying. She's not a huge fan fan of her current food that she has right now. She, probably like most dogs, is super interested in human food, which I'm not going to give her, but I just feel like she wants some real food in her life. So we're gonna try this. This is their, their puppy formula. Raw food for dogs, it's like intro to raw food. They're frozen, dogs love to crunch. She weighs about 30 pounds right now. <laughs> Look at her, she's so tall. She's starting to come up onto the counter. I swear she thinks she's human. She comes up here and she like, tries to figure out what we're doing up here. <laughs> Are you hungry? All right, so I'm gonna feed her three quarters of normal food and one quarter of the new stuff. It's not very much of it. I think she's excited. She loves ice too, so I feel like this is gonna be good. Are you ready for this? She's picking them out. <laughs> What did I say, you guys? She literally just picked out the new food. She clearly loves it and left her kibble. She just doesn't like her kibble. I don't know, man. She just, she knows what she likes. She's a little bougie dog. She's like, mom, I want some good food. What is this crap you're feeding me? A little update on Mango. We're talking about our pets. I actually am doing a complete revamp of his space in here. I like redid his bulb, his lighting, and his bump looks about the same. I don't know. We do have a follow-up appointment, but he's done with his first round of meds and he has one more round now, but we don't start it for another week. I don't know, it was really weird. It was like, do the meds for five days and then take a 10 day break and then do it for five more. So he has been a little more lively, I will say, but it's just so hard to tell. He's been eating good. Hi, buddy. But I don't know, you can still kind of see it right there. Oh, <laughs> not much movement on this end. Just a waiting game. So we meet again. As you guys know, Landon got his hair permed last week and, well not last week, when was that? Two weeks ago? And this is how it's going. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, it's almost completely straight again. So I'm gonna preface this with saying that I did not like seek a specific place out to do his hair. I literally called a place that accepted walk-ins and went the same day because he wanted it done before his birthday. So we just went to some random place and I've had quite a few people since then comment saying that the lady that did his hair didn't necessarily do a good job. Like I guess she rolled it wrong. She used different size. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I am not a hair professional. But being that it is completely flattened since then I'm you know I wouldn't doubt it so I'm beginning to think that they are correct so what I did this time is Landon has a friend who gets his hair permed and I asked his mom where they get his hair permed and I made an appointment with a guy who does it that they've had a really good experience with so we are headed out to get Landon's hair repermed <laughs> wish us luck hopefully it lasts longer than two weeks this time however I did get my hair permed once or twice as a child and my hair absolutely did not hold the perm. I had a very similar experience. So I'm hoping that it's not just like his hair type, but we're gonna see what we can do. Oh 
my gosh, let me see. This is so, it is very obvious to me that this is clearly done the right way. Look how curly this is versus the other time. This guy did it completely differently. Like the whole process he did differently. Like, like I said, we got a recommendation from one of his friends that also gets his hair done like this. And this is like significantly better. So I think we're gonna come back. We're gonna be coming back to this place. He took a picture of it, so. Oh cool, that way he'll remember for next time. Hopefully. Yes, yeah. Huh. So hopefully this one lasts more than two weeks, but two and a half weeks, I think it will. Since they did it right though, it did take a little bit longer, which means you're going straight to soccer practice, oh, so. Ooh, it's a lucky bracelet. Gosh, that just looks so good. Yeah, that looks so much better. We need to like take out the weeds here. Oh, bless you. And then over here too. I don't uh, want to fill it with concrete. It's and then kinda... we'll put a hole there for an umbrella. And it can be an out of water experience. Yeah. <laughs> but the, I brought the hanging chairs. An umbrella out. would be cool there. I brought those out, washed them down. This pool looks so inviting. God, I wish it was just slightly warm. Did you, did you feel the water? Is it warm? Oh, ice cold. <laughs> What's up fam, it's the next day. I am deeming today an outside day because look at this gorgeous weather. We've got a lot of outside things coming up. We've got the twins birthday next week. We've got Easter coming up, which we for the very first time are hosting. And I'm so excited about that, but I just want things looking pristine out here. So we're doing some yard work that we have, hate to admit this, but um, maybe never done in this backyard. I can't eat any of the things that are in the eggs. Oh, oh, because of the red dye? Yeah. I'm gonna buy some special candy that's not red dye. All chocolate you can eat. Chocolate's all good, and you like chocolate. I'll buy some special candy that's not, doesn't have red dye, okay? You know what's cool? He's been so good with this red dye thing. He takes it so seriously. I'm gonna make sure to get candy that you can have, okay? So we took red dye out of our kids' diets. Um, well, we're trying to, I should say, take red, red dye out of our kids' diets. And we're honestly doing a really I don't even buy it for my Good job. Yeah, no, well, you bought one thing recently, and I was like, that's filled with red dye. Fruit roll-ups. I did. Yeah. So the reason we took red dye out of our kids' diets is, well, just Google it for one. Um, but mainly, the thing that sparked that e that thought even was it's specifically linked right. to hyperactivity in kids, which I, if you've followed for a long time, you guys know. I've talked about Landon in particular and his like journey with this ADHD symptoms. And so I finally was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try this. Take it out completely. I recently had a parent-teacher conference with his uh -huh. teacher asking if like she's noticed a difference. And she did say that in the past few months he's been able to to focus a little bit better, but I don't know yet if it's like directly related or what it is, but he's been so good at it. Like he will check the labels of things before he has it. The rest of the kids will come in contact with red. I'm not like psycho about it. Like if they eat a piece of candy at school or you know, something like that, it's, it's not a huge deal, but I am really trying to limit it and I'm trying not to buy it anymore. But when it comes to things like Valentine's Day, Easter, that does make it a little bit more difficult because a lot of the tr sweet treats and stuff have those kinds of things in it. So something that I've been more aware of recently. Anyway, what I was saying was, one of the things that we have never gotten to in this backyard was trimming up the bushes around it. So as you can see, we've taken care of that this morning. I wanna make these in, Chris, can we make these into like Disney characters? We should do that or like turn them into like hearts. I actually think it's super easy to do. But you need a, a mesh frame. You need that do you? Of it and then you. Where do I buy that? Trim around it. I want that. I want Minnie and Mickey. Oh, <gasps> just little Mickey heads. Okay, wait, can we have, we need this to happen. Look at these little guys. I do have a question though for anyone who is either a dog owner or a landscaper. You guys are always coming in clutch here in my comments. I didn't realize that like dog urine kills your grass. Is this a thing? Because you can tell Honey has a few favorite spots to use the bathroom. She tends to not do number two right here. I don't know if it's just instinctually, she tends to go like on the outside corners. Maybe I just need a teach her to go in one particular spot, but I don't know. Is there just like a loophole around this? Brief interruption. I am gonna take this boy back here to soccer, story of our life, always going somewhere. And apparently I do not have some of the garden tools that I thought that I had. So I'm gonna drop him off, run to Home Depot, come back and then finish off. I wanna trim up some of the bushes around. I'm just on a roll. You guys, spring is in the air and I can feel it and I just love it and I, I just wanna be outside. That is my plan for the rest of the day. Look at this, not me in my gardening era. I'm just kidding, I'm not claiming that energy. <laughs> I, don't, I cannot confirm or deny if I'm gonna become a gardening girl, but at this point in my life, probably not. But at bare minimum, I need to at least take care of basics around here. So today's task is gonna be cleaning up the rose bushes. This is not a rose bush. No. You're gonna pull that thing? Ow. Oh! What? Okay, you pull these while I cut. I'm gonna be honest here, I don't know what I'm doing. All 
I know is that these rose bushes are too tall. So I'm really hoping that I'm not gonna hurt them or harm them, but I really do need to cut them down. So that's my mindset on this. Hopefully I don't kill them. I just, they're just, they're just too tall. We need to, we need to bring them down a little bit. That was quick and painless. I just kind of evened it all out again. Don't know what I'm doing here. I'm learning as I go. But I am moving on because I dropped Landon off at practice. I am gonna go pick him back up, but I really, 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 really want to take this opportunity because normally the field that these kids live at and that Honey will soon be attending with us all the time is really, really packed and busy. And when I dropped him off right now, there's like no one there. There's like a tr special training today. So it's very empty. And since Honey is now officially fully vaccinated as of two, ooh, when was her Appointment. She is a week and a half past her last round of vaccines, which means she's officially fully vaccinated And I want to just introduce her to this place without it being like super packed. So I'm gonna take advantage of it now I'm gonna set up. I got her a doggy car seat a doggy seat belt a leash a harness and ooh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. She has no idea what's coming right now. Honey, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to the soccer field. You're gonna leave. You're gonna have your first outing. All right, seems simple enough I put the bars in set it down and I guess it just wraps around. Is that all? Oh no, she's on the wrong way. The seatbelt pull is on this side. Oh, she fits better. Oh, that fits a lot better. This is crazy. So this is her seatbelt. This goes through the little hole down here and I think this is a lot of work. Okay, and then this like clips onto our harness. Time to get the dog. Honey, come here, honey. You wanna go bye-bye with mommy? Oh, you excited. Come here, come here. I always forget how to put this thing on. Well, this is the back. Okay, I think it goes like this. One foot, two foot. It's not gonna fit you for much longer. I'm gonna need a bigger one. Oh my God, she grew since I put this on her a week ago. Is this what I have to look forward to? Oh, it's backwards, sorry. One pop and two pop. This is so hard, I need an easier harness. Okay, we got it, we got it. That was a lot of work. All right, honey, let's go. Success. That was a little difficult. I had to pick her up to put her in here because she does not jump very high, but I got her attached to her seatbelt. And are you ready to go, sister? You ready to go on your first adventure? The only place she's ever been is to the vet, so I'm excited to give her some like positive interactions here. Oh, she's wagging her tail. Hey. Oh, you're gonna <laughs> love the wind in your face, aren't you? And he's doing well. She's just <laughs> looking out the window, then she sits down and looks <laughs> out the window. We're almost there. We're so close. Honey's just enjoying the view right now. <laughs> she loves it. Mom is just driving in. I'm just in the back comforting Honey. Give me my dog mom arrow. Let's go. Look, there's Landon. <laughs> She's saying bye, you. Excited. Oh, you love new people, huh? Come here, come this way. Do you have any heel? She's doing so good. We encountered our first dog. She was so calm. I've got reinforcement here, her treats, the doggy bags. I've got water. So much to see, huh? Was that fun, honey girl? All right, good job, honey. All done. I think she's excited now. I don't know if she even wants to go. She did so good. Okay, this is a really short trip. We're just testing the waters here, but time to get back in, girl. All right, that was a major success. She did so good. We've been practicing at home. She still pulls a little bit like on the leash, which we're working on with her, but she did super good. She, was she really came. excited today. She was really excited. And like I said, it was a really short trip. It was the perfect amount of time for her to come and just kind of test the waters. She's only met a couple dogs dogs so far. So she came in contact with her first dog that we don't know. I held her super close, but she did so good. She didn't freak out. She was a little scared, a little timid. At first, like when we, when we Yeah, first. but she loved it. I think that she was good. She loved the ride. She loved it. She loved the ride. She was definitely nervous when we got there. She was like shaking a little bit, but she quickly got over it and got excited. Guys, Nova was stuck in the tree over there. Not this big tree right here. Another tree over there. Switch. The switch. <laughs> she had a good time. Oh! <laughs> Are these your pets, Addy? Hey, honey and I are practicing a very useless party trick, but <laughs> the kids really want her to learn how to play dead. So I've been working with her on this because she learns super quick. Ready? Oh, she's ready to learn. Okay, ready? Daddy. Bing! Honey, down. Yes, now bing! Bing! You, yeah, you're thinking it. Bing! Yes! Good girl! Good job! Good job! All right, let's practice that again. Ready? Okay, ready, set, bing! Yes, good girl! Good job! You're playing, Dad, you're playing, Dad. Oh, you're so good. Kaden's gonna love that. Bing! 
Yes, good girl. I'm gonna end this video. I gotta get up extra early tomorrow because it's picture day for the kids at school. And I normally pick out their outfits the day before. Didn't do that because I'm so tired. I wanna go to sleep, which means I need to do it in the morning. And anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.